Hello, today I am going to show you how to design Cascade HBridge high level inverter in MATLAB Solid software. This is the circuit diagram of Cascade HBridge high level inverter and it is, it is the output wave shape of high level inverter. This Cascade HBridge high level inverter consists of two HBridge. In the previous session, we discussed three level, uh, three level inverter. As the level of inverter increases, the number of H bridges will get increased. For a given level of inverter, the required number of H bridges can be calculated by using this formula. N equal to M minus 1 by 2, where it is the M is the level of inverter. If it is 3 level, 3 minus 1 by 2, it is 1 H bridge. If it is 5 level, 5 minus 1 by 2, it requires 2 HBJ. If it is 7 level inverter, it requires 3 HBJ. If it is 9 level inverter, it requires 4 HBJ. It requires, it can just 4 HBJ. See here, our main objective is how to get this 5 level wave shape at the output terminals of the inverter. Now to get this 5 level output wave shape at output terminals of the inverter, First, we have to find the switching angles at each level change. See here, from here to here, the level is changing. Here, the level is changing. And here also, the level is changing. Here also, the same. See, all these vertical dotted lines indicates switching angles. What is the use of the switching angle? Once we know the switching angles, from this, by using the switching angles, we can control the on and off time of the IGBT switches in order to get this kind of wave shape at the output terminal. See how to find the switching angle. Here I am using one method that is equal phase method to find this switching angle. This is the formula of equal phase method. Where it is the M is the level of output voltage. It may be a 5 level, 7 level, 9 level, whatever it may be. And alpha is the switching angle. By using this formula, we can find two main switching angles that is alpha 1 and alpha 2. Why? Because it is 5 level, 5 minus 1 by 2 means 2. That's why we can calculate alpha 1 and alpha 2 by using this formula. That is alpha 1 is at 60 degrees, alpha 2 is 60, 72 degrees. From this main switching angles we can find the remaining angles alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha 5 alpha 6 and alpha 7 and alpha 5 see here alpha 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it requires 8 switching angles you need 8 switching angles to get this wave shape at the output terminals of the inverter once after finding this uh, switching angles Next, we go through the switching timetable. This switching timetable answers the information about the switching angles and the switching time and the on and off period of the IGBT switches. See here. From here to see, this is the output wave shape of the high level inverter. Level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, and level 5. See, in order to get from here to here, the output voltage is 0. See, observe here. 0 output voltage means all the switches are in off position. By default, all the switches are in off, uh, off position, open switches. If you want to make, if you want to close the switches, simply you apply triggering pulses. See, from here to here, output voltage is 0. Means, no need to give triggering pulses to the IGBT switches. See, from here to here, level is changing. Means, we need 100 volts, some uh, not 100 volts, it may be any volt, any value. Means B. See, here it consists of two forces. One H bridge, one voltage source. Second H bridge consists of second voltage source. See, here, la, here you need voltage B. To get B means what switches you have to make from See, from here to get B, see, this colored portion is on period, this. Uh, uh, white portions means blank boxes all it is, it is uh, off periods. 
So in order to get to B, what switches you have to make them? S1, S2 and S6. See here, this is S1, S2 and S6 you have to make R. Okay? How you run? Okay, you run by simply giving the triggering pulses, you can, you can get on this IGBT switches. Simply apply triggering pulses according to the switching table information. Whatever the information is given on the switching table, according to that you give triggering pulses to the IGBT switches. I will show you how to give uh, triggering pulses parameters to the in the pulse generator in the MATLAB generator software. See, simply apply gate pulses to the S1, S2 and the S6. They will get the thermal, means the switches will get closed. Then this voltage source is connected to the door. See here, like this. From here, current will pass through S1, like this, through resistor and through S6. And here, it will not go like this. It will not go like this. Why? Because S5 and the S5 and S7 are open switches. So that's why through this parallel diode, through this parallel diode, it is the current will pass through this and goes to and S2 also flow. That's why it goes to like this. In this way, the current passes through the resistor. And the voltage across the load resistor is VDC. That is one VDC. The same way. Here the level is again changing to 2V, 2VDC. This is 2VDC. In order to get 2VDC, which switches you have to make thermal? That is S1, S2, S6. S1, S2, S6 and S5 switch you have to make thermal. Previously, already S1, S2, S6 are already non position. Simply you give triggering pulses to the S5. Now the current passes through the load is like this. From here to here, like this, like this, like this. It will go through this one. Why? Because it will not go like this. Why? Because the current always passes through low resistance path. This is the low resistance path. Why? Because the switch is closed. This is the low resistance path compared to this one. That's why it will go like this, like this, like this. Now, two sources are. Source 1 and source 2 are connected across the load. That's why the voltage 2V appear across this one. The same way, again, the, uh, in order to get to V, what uh, switches are there, like previous, whatever we discussed this one, S1, S2, S6, you will get uh, V voltage. The same way, if you want uh, 0 volts, simply turn off all the switches. Like this, you can get the output ratio of the high level inverter. Uh, in uh, by simply giving the triggering pulses to the IGBT switches. I will show you in the MATLAB main software. See, this is the circuit diagram of the cascade HBIT uh, high level inverter. So it consists of two HBIT, HBIT 1, HBIT 2. Okay, each HBIT consists of four switches. These things are simply you drag and drop. From this power system, Simscape, say Simscape, and power system, okay. In this uh, specialized technology, in the fundamental blocks, these power trans components, whatever you want, measurements, the okay, elements, sources, all the components, the required components, you simply drop and drop in the uh, empty block and connect the circuit components like this. See, you take some voltage, I am taking source voltage some 100 volts and uh, source 2 some 100 volts I am taking. And the main task is giving the triggering pulses to the IGBT switches by using pulse generator. These triggering pulses I am giving based on the switching angles, whatever you found in the previous, based on the switching angles, I am giving this uh, parameters to the pulse generator. See, this is the amplitude, any value you can give. I am finding for one cycle, that's why the period is 0 0.02 seconds. One cycle means 0 0.02 seconds. And the pulse width you see from the table, see pulse width is S1, S2, S6. The on period of period of pulse generator parameters are same. See on period pulse width is 30%. See this 30% is how it is total period is 360. On period is this is that is 108. 108 decreases the on period. Among 360 degrees. 
that comes in terms of uh, percentage, it is 30 percentage. Okay, uh, uh, period is 30 percent. And uh, see, phase delay, phase delay is 0 0.002 seconds. 0 0.02 seconds. See, from up to here, there is no output. Output voltage is zero. That's why you have to give phase delay 0 0.002. The same parameters for S2 and S6 also. The same parameters for S2 and S2 and S6 also. Same. Then you will get a, then you will get a, V. Not to get a, 2V. Okay. You have to give add uh, uh, S5. You have to give the pulse uh, triggering pulse parameters to the S5. How to give that one? Is, I will show you. So this is S5, S5 is this one. So the parameters for this one is amplitude is 1, period is 0 0.02 and the pulse width is 10%. See here, 10% is, see here, the pulse width on period is 10% only, only 10%. Why because 36 by 360 is 10%. This is the period from here to here is 36 degrees. On period is only from here to here, 36 degrees by 360 means 10%. And the delay is 0 0.004. See, from up to here, this uh, switch 5 is in off position. That's why the delay is 0 0.004. So that's why 0 0.004. The same way, for getting again, for getting uh, again V, you have to give same. S1, S2, S6. Zero means all the switches you have to make. All you make an off position. The same way, minus V means not to get minus V. What switches you need? S7, S4, and S8. S7, S4, and S8. See, S4. Amplitude 1, period is 0 0.0 second. Pulse switch is same 30%. And the phase delay is 0 0.012. 0 0.012. See, up to here, these S7, S4, and S8 switches are in off position. That's why the phase delay is 0 0.012. You have to give 0 0.012. And the on period is 30%. On period is 30%. Simply okay. for S4 and S7 also, same. For S7 also, same. And uh, yes, say it. Or yes, say it answer. Say. And in order to get the minus two, in order to get minus two, you have to give parameters to the. You have to turn on switch S three. S three you have to turn on. The delay period is zero point zero one four. Pulse width is ten percent. S three. Amplitude 1, period is 0 0.02, pulse width is 10%, delay is 0 0.014, simply press OK. Okay, like this you have to connect the circuit, cascade connection means you have to connect the uh, circuit like this, see, like this you have to connect. We have to give some register value, and this is the measurement, voltage measurement to measure the voltage. Because the resistor, because the load resistor. Okay. After uh, doing this one, you give some simulation time. If you want to observe a single cycle or a uh, different cycle. Suppose I am pressing 0 0.08. And then four cycles output you can observe. You can do simulate it. See this. This is the high level output phase shift. Okay. High level. Output phase shift. Suppose if you want to observe one cycle, so this is for single cycle. Cycle. So there is a switching angle one, switching angle two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. Eight switching angles. Is equal, eight switching angles. This is the off side. This is the way. To generate high level output 
feel shape at the output terminal the output terminals of the cascade multilevel inverter. Thank you very much. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.